Welcome to Someday You Will Return, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the Lucky Leaf Summer Camp Puzzle and Riddle in Chapter 3. This puzzle will require you to find three rods, decipher the riddle for the combination to the locked door in the red building. This is going to help you complete the chapter. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is at the center of the camp, you'll notice there is a green tent. And if you're staring at the red building and your back is to the mess hall, the green tent is to the right. So once we go over there, we're going to need to find a fuse box and flip the switch. This is going to help you get inside the mess hall. Now, in order to get inside the mess hall, you're going to have to mess with the fuse box that's outside the door. When you get inside the mess hall, there's three key items. One is a radio so that we can get the batteries out of the back. Next is a spare key so that we can get into the red building. And then the other one is a book that's on one of the tables that is a decipher book that's gonna help us with the combination. I always loved glagolitic script. Okay, so now that we can get inside the red building, there's two key things that we need to do. One is pick up the book that's on the table. Next, you're gonna to have to interact with the cages. The first one, you're gonna pull out a cell phone, and then to the right of that one, we'll have a document about the three golden rods. After you pick up those two key items, then we're gonna go outside the building and start looking for everything. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly explain everything now, and the next part of the video is just me gonna show you where everything is at. So with the three golden rods, one of them is located behind the red building, the second one is located in between the red building and that green tent from earlier. Just go right between that path and you'll find a river. So go left down that river and you'll find a cave. Go in there and then you'll find the second golden rod. The third one is located on top of a rock climbing wall at the very top. So once you get to the very top of that, you'll be able to pick up the third and final golden rod. The other items that you need is the lemon cup and food coloring all three of those are in the mess hall. I'm gonna show you where everything is right now and then I'll pick it back up afterwards. Okay, so we just picked up the three golden rods. Now we're going into the mess hall to pick up three key items. But I did not pick up the red food coloring in this video clip. I did it later, but I didn't record it for some reason. So you just saw me pick up the cup. Right next to that is the red food coloring package that you need to pick up. Make sure you get that. Then you're gonna go downstairs and grab a lemon. Once you have those three items, you're gonna mix them all together. The cup, the lemon, the red food coloring package. When you have all three of those mixed together, that is going to help us decode the secret message. So now we need to look at the end of all three of the golden rods. You'll see that there is a cork at the very end. You're gonna take your tools and untwist the cork out of each of the golden rods. Then you're gonna pull the piece of paper out of it. You're gonna place all three of those papers together and then I'll pick it back up once we get to that point. The cork came from a pretty good wine, too. Ha! Huh. My infamous rod of Svatopluk.
Oh, I need to put something else here. Ah, oh, damn. There has to be more to this. Okay, so now we place all three of those papers together that we got from the golden rods. We just need to dab the red food coloring and lemon onto the paper to get six symbols. The symbols on the left are the same symbols that are above the combination door. The symbols on the right are the ones that we need to decipher and get the numbers from them for the combination. So the ones on the right, the three, we're gonna open the book that we picked up in the mess hall to get the numbers. Then you're gonna go back to the combination door and you're gonna see seven symbols going in a half circle around. The combination will be from the left to the right. So you'll notice mine, you know, on the left side, the two bottom ones looks like an E, right? For me, that was three. I don't know if this is going to be different for everyone else, but my three symbols on the right was 10, four, three. So right now, my code would be three, three, four, 10, four, three, three. I'm gonna enter that combination in three, three, four, 10, four, three, three. And this will get me into the door and I'll be that much closer to completing the chapter. I don't know if everyone's combination is different. That's basically why I want to explain exactly how to solve the puzzle. If it is different, then just make sure that you look at the six symbols. The symbols on the left are the same symbols that are gonna be above the combination door. And the symbols on the right, you'll have to use the book from the mess hall to figure out what the numbers are for the combination. And then just enter the combination into the door and this will complete the puzzle. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time.